Oh, look, there's a beautiful fork right next to, oh man. There's plenty more rocks in the sea for you, little fella. There you go. That looks like a classic and it's calling my name. That is an old school. Probably at one time silver plated and says the words that I can't remember. I'm looking for a town called Bluffton, B-L-U-F-F-Ton. And uh, I'm on a road I've never been on. I did not think there were any roads in Alabama left that I had not been on yet, but I ride mistaken. So this town, I believe it's, it was, uh, I have read a little history. I'm just looking around. It was an early iron town looking for iron ore deposits it didn't last long because everybody ended up in Birmingham with the mother load but this town got big for a little while and they built a a resort it's amazing how many small resorts are all over Alabama or were all over Alabama crazy thing about it is I can't remember the name but that's a fork <laughs> it's so close you can't see it this fork that I'll show you again in a minute was found in Birmingham in a creek in the city I know y'all think it's silly maybe that I keep silverware, but the old stuff is cool to me. Cause even though it say may it may say Rogers or Norton or Hoyt or whatever some of the older names are, sometimes they're marked with someone's name or a hotel. This fork has a hotel on it. And I'm gonna put my glasses on and try to read it while I'm driving. Okay, no I'm not. Cause I can't see the road when I'm looking through my glasses at a fork looking down. But the name of the hotel is on this fork, the resort, the hotel. Started in the 1800s, ended in the 1800s. So I wanna find the spot where it was. Not only that, I want to go to the museum. There's a Cherokee County Museum, which I believe is the county I'm in. And I want to see if they have a fork like this, because I want to see one. I'm smelling it. it smells like dirty iron. But I want to see if they have a fork like, like this, because I want to see what, what it looks like nice and new and fresh. I've metal detected several resort spots that came and went back in the 1800s all over Alabama. And not found much. I have found things like door hinges, doorknobs, pieces of plates or dishes. Y'all know that. You've been there. Okay, Salem Baptist Church. There's a sign right there. Site of Bluffton. So you <laughs> so there's no Bluffton anymore. Oh my goodness! Site of Bluffton. <laughs> Salem Baptist Church. This place was started. I read for the town of Bluffton, as well as 
something. Let's get out of this truck. Goodness gracious. The, the hotel or resort was Signal. S I G now. Nal, N A L. It's so bright. Can y'all see that sign? Located 500 yards southeast of this marker. 500 yards southeast. So that's south. Let's see, the leaves on the north side of a tree are bigger than the leaves on the south side of a tree. There is a grasshopper inside my camera. So I don't know if y'all knew that, but the leaves on the north side of a tree are bigger than the leaves on the south side of a tree. And I may have that backwards, but that's not as important. What's important is it looks like there's a creek right here. <laughs> uh, we're going to go with Wretched Mosquito Swamp. But those are my favorites. No, this is a creek. And one frog lives here. Yeah, that is a uh, wretched mosquito dump. So southeast is there and there. That's finger form of Siri. So what I want to know, I'm going to read this to me and you. Bluffton was promoted in 1888, promoted as the future of Iron Center of the South due to large iron ore deposits in four furnaces within a mile radius town you don't have to really read the word period the town soon boomed due to an influence capital for northern investors with its population reaching an estimated 8,000 residents bluffing had the first electric lights in the county a large victorian hotel the signal hey it's on the sign over 20 businesses and plans for a large college university of the south line which that never happened i did read that i forgot to show you the fork impersonated there's the fork you can't read anything on it because GoPros don't zoom, nor... Hey, my phone is still looking for directions. It doesn't have to do that anymore. Because we know where we are. It says Signal Hotel right down the top right there. And on the back, it says other words. Which I don't have my glasses. I believe it's Hodges. But I want to go up here. In a quarter mile, Real quick. Left onto Cherokee County 8. My pocket is still talking. I don't want to do that. Okay, you got to talk to the phone. I wonder if I should leave my phone right here. Give me my fork. 1853 to 1930 Chandler. The Nelsons. Chandler, 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 Chandler. Nineteen twenty, nineteen twenty. Son of Chandler, 1908 to 18, I'm 10 years old. Five months old, not even a year old. It's a bummer. And I don't mean that lightly, I mean it's absolutely a bummer. John and Martha, infants of Oliver and Martha Chandler. Born and died 31 July 1917. Infant. Dang, 1910 to 10. 1904 to 1904. April to July. This is getting depressing. 1901 to 1902. It's getting more depressing. 1914-1915. Holy smokes. 37 to 1900. I don't know. 
96 to 1900, four years old, one year old, 39 years old. Some of them are hard to read. One year old. Huh. So again, if you want to do any research, if you like researching old cemeteries and stuff, father and mother. Ferguson's. Nineteen oh five, nineteen oh six. Anyway, Cherokee County, Alabama, Bluffton, Alabama, Signal Hotel a resort is why I'm here. And if they say no, we don't have one of those forks, we'd love to have it in our museum. Then I'll say here's your fork. Show me where the town was. Because I would like to metal detect where the town was and give them everything I find. I've got plenty of piles of City Creek junk. This is the cool stuff that people really like. So let's go see if we can find the town. I'm turning around to get my little uh, thing that tells you, what's it called? It tells you which direction you're heading in, a compass or a compass. Let's see, that is southeast. This town was located 500 yards southeast. 100 yards is a football field. So let's drive. Stop making that noise. So this town is right down here. 8,000 residents. A big resort, the Signal Hotel. Have we been a football field yet? See, I, I was in marching band, so I know there's 10 yards between each line. That's about all of it. Everything out here is gated. This must be a gated community. Maybe there's another sign. Oh, we haven't been 500 yards yet. Slow ATV crossings. My, mine's kind of slow right now because it, uh, Indian Mountain RV ATV Park. Maybe we need to go there. I wonder if they would know. I wonder if it was on this park. We've been football fields. Okay, I'm gonna go ask people. Maybe I can find Summer McWhorter and Summerford down here. All right, I'll let you know. All right, I talked to a fella for a while. All of this was the town. He's not 100% sure exactly where, but uh, he said it was all over here. So I got the landowner's number. There's, let's say they got like 6,000 or so acres. And I'm gonna stop again. Right here at Salem Baptist. And see if I can get in touch with someone. Good news. I just talked to the owner. And he actually said he's been looking for one of those forks because he heard they had their own marked silverware. So I took it a step further and I looked up the maker. It's Victor Silver Company or Victor and Company or something like that. And they started in the 1870s. So 1880s, they had a, you know, probably a pretty healthy line of silverware out there. And that's about the time the hotel came in here. And uh, anyway, I, I may be mistaken as far as the exact amounts, but the fellow I talked to, 
uh, maintaining the, the ATV park said that they own thousands of acres. And he said yes, come metal detector. And I've got two metal detectors, so he's gonna do it with me. He's just as excited as I am. So it's, it's neat to talk to somebody that's as pumped as I am about finding another fork. <laughs> it's funny, because I just picked up the fork and threw it in my man purse and shuffle it off. And then I get home and if they're old, I try to brush them off gently and so I can read them. And if they're not, they go in the bucket of junk, which I need to show you sometime. I've got enough silverware for all of y'all to come over and have a tub of multicolored casserole at the next Exploring Alabama reunion. Actually, it'd be the first annual Exploring Alabama reunion just got to figure out how to set that up. So far, I don't have enough money to fly all of y'all here. So, you may have to do it virtual. Safety second, right? So anyway, that's it. That's all I got for this whole video. I thought we were going to get on some today, but uh, he's out of town and, and wants to be here. So, I'm going to shuffle off and... Uh, keep the fort. I'm not taking it to the museum. Although I may go see the museum anyway. And if I do, I'll show you that. But I'm gonna end the video right now with thanks for watching my videos. Unless I stop at the museum. Thanks for watching my videos. Alright, well I decided to uh, continue. I got behind a fire truck, so there's a fire in center. This is where the museum is right here somewhere on the right on the right on the right your destination on the right. is on the right okay i heard you here it is it says it's open too so let's put it to the test okay so i made it i've already been inside i showed one before of course she was excited and wanted it but uh this is center alabama and what i want to do is show you some of the things from this hotel pretty fascinating look at all the birds up there all right so here we are inside she actually was in a documentary too about a fellow that lived in the area named Beltry Smith and she told me the whole story it was neat but I'll make this quick there is an original picture of the Signal Hotel and then oh there's the uh Blind Tiger, The Legend of Beltree Smith. Okay, okay, look at this. This is the switchboard from inside the hotel. Of course, no one on earth knows how it works, but the, the guys who are making the documentary, that gave the museum this. Isn't it fascinating? So here, read it. So the glass is broke. It's so neat. I cannot wait to metal take. There was a gun shop there too where they actually made the guns. You know what that means. We're gonna find some pieces, hopefully. So that's it. There's one of the, the only pictures I found online. Which that picture and that picture, I believe, are the same. Just different zoomed in angles. I'm not sure, but anyway. This is probably one of the most well put together museums for a small town I've ever seen. I don't know hardly anything about this town. So I know what you're seeing. You've seen it a lot. But all, all everything here is from this town. or found in this town. Uh oh, iron ingots. Wanted, do you have an iron ingot from Round Mountain Furnace about 1850? Well, I'll tell you what, we'll go look.
you know, I was done, but the lady I've been talking to that knows so much about this place and everything is absolutely fascinating. Now, where's the downstairs? She told me there's a downstairs. I see a wall, 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 wall. I'm lost in a square building. Maybe it's over here. That looks like a stairwell box, doesn't it? Yep, yeah, watch your step. politics there's a mural down here that another lady painted okay that's the closet <laughs> they're, they're deep in politics over there so we'll just look around for a minute look at this other cup no it's an international harvester this this is neat, isn't it? All right, I'm, I don't know how to mute this thing. There's a was it an early eye wash station? It's a lot of electronics to get a drink of water, isn't it? Sorry, y'all. Oh, what is that, a Cushman? That's a Schwinn. With a little tiny motor on it. Roadside stand. I tell you what, if you're ever in Alabama, or if you're in Alabama right now, you need to come to this museum. Planning in progress for railroad and furnace exhibit. I've only found one true railroad lock, but it wasn't as impressive as those. I'm trying to go a little slower than I usually do because low light and this camera is horrible slow cherokee county bank the old steel wheel. we still got a steel wheel in the chicken house <laughs> he says some woman told me <laughs> You might have to make this two different videos, I don't know. Okay, there's the mural from planting to harvesting the cotton. 480 to 500 pounds is what the, the center bell. Around here, when they start harvesting the cotton, actually most places, you see it all over the sides of the roads and it looks like massive piles of trash have been thrown out. So there's the planting, there's the growing, 
Somebody's talking behind me. And then you get it. Harvest. I believe all the way through October. I've seen them harvesting, depending on the weather. And I've tried to plant my own cotton. Small, tiny bits of it. And I'm going to go over here. I don't know, we may, may not go in there. Borden Springs. I just heard it say Borden Springs. Remember, we found that place too. Okay, going back upstairs. So I talked to a lady down there. She lived in one of the uh, resorts before it finally burned. That I've taken y'all to. I've metal detected there before. And then another, and she was actually from Borden Springs, which is where another resort was that I took y'all to. You remember the fellow that lived on the side of the hill? You may not remember, but if you look up Borden Springs in my videos, you may find it. Yeah, I walked through and then one of the fellas sitting there working on his display. He said, see how fast them young fellas go through here? I was like, man, what you talking about, Willis? I'm finding history for you. I'm bringing it to you. You don't care. Not the same thing. Yeah, this is neat. It's so, it's Center, Alabama. Cherokee History Museum. And this was a big, uh, made up place she said for the trail of tears so the story is sad and yet awesome either way driving not sure where i am i, I left there i was in there probably two hours and uh talked to everybody in the world it was interesting so i'm gonna get a plan and uh we'll go back metal detective thanks for watching my videos